Hey guys, Josh here from Apex Gun Parts and today we're going to be talking about Yugoslavia. Apex has always carried a lot of Yugoslavian parts and accessories. And though Yugoslavia is gone now and we call it Serbia, we can still step back in time through some of these awesome pieces. We've had everything from AKs, different variants of AKs from the Balkans, to M53s. So today we're going to be talking about some of the stuff that Apex carries. First, we're going to take a look at some of the more famous variants of rifles that came out of Yugoslavia. And that's the Yugoslavian manufactured AK. So right here, for example, we have a Yugo AK. This specific model is an M70 AB2. Back when they were manufacturing these, Tito was in charge of Yugoslavia. Tito had the idea that every rifleman also doubled as a grenadier, which is the ability to launch grenades during combat. So when you notice these Yugo rifles, everything's a bit thicker, everything's a bit beefier. So let me uh, fold this out and I'll show you specifically what we're talking about. So a lot of these military variants you're going to look up here and you're going to see there's a bulged front trunnion. The front trunnion is a lot thicker than most standard AKMs. You'll see other bulged trunnions on AKs, such as RPKs, that need a little bit more strength. And the reason these need more strength is, like I said, they were designed with the intent of launching grenades. Now Apex carries all the parts you'll need for Yugoslavian type rifles. Another couple key differences is the receiver is going to be thicker. The hand guards you'll notice are a little bit longer than the standard AKM. And like I said, everything is just beefier on these weapons. Now Apex has a lot of different variants of these weapon systems. We've seen a lot of these come out of the Balkans conflict. In fact, if you go on our website, you'll see a bunch of different things such as Balkan War handguard sets and a bunch of different things that show the battlefield usage of these weapons. Now here we have an M70B1, and there's some differences between this and some of the newer models of the Zastava guns out of Serbia, such as the MPAP, is that these were designed for more military use. There's the bulge trunnions, there's the thicker receivers, whereas the MPAPs aren't designed for continuous grenade launching and heavy duty use like that, so you won't notice a bulge receiver and bulge trunnion on those. Now if you have an MPAP though, and you want to give it this military look, we sell this furniture on our website. Now the Yugoslavians did a lot of work in the world of AKs. In fact, they even helped Iraq set up their factory. So if you ever get your hands on a Tabuk, you'll notice a lot of similarities between the two weapons. Now my personal opinion, these weapons are built like tanks. This specific weapon, as the other ones you'll see, are built off parts kits. And if you take the time to buy a military parts kit, get it built, you'll be really impressed with the finish and how smooth they tend to operate. We've seen a lot of different weapons come out of the Balkans. Everything from M53s, Yugo AKs, Bulgarian AKs. We've even seen some 1919 stuff come out of the Balkans. It became kind of the melting pot of small arms. So we all carry that on our website. So if you're wanting anything that gives you a cool look into history, check us out at apexgunparts.com.